In this video, we will connect Namecheap domain with Hostinger. So first of all, you need to log into your Namecheap account and under domain list, you need to locate your domain name. So once you located your domain name, you need to click manage in front of the domain name. On the following page, you will find the domain name settings or DNS. Currently, our domain is using Namecheap basic DNS settings. If you don't have a hosting plan, I recommend using premium web hosting with the four year plan and you can save up to $393. Use the link in the description. I already have a hosting plan which is premium web hosting and it can host up to 100 sites. Once you logged into your hosting account, you need to click hosting. Then you need to click add website. On the following page, you will find the following two options, create a new site or migrate my website. You need to ignore both and click skip create an empty website. Again, you will find the following two options, but we will use use an existing domain because we already have a domain. Then you need to paste the domain name here. Let's copy our domain name and paste it here without HTTP protocol and hit continue. Then on the following page, you will find that it's asking you to change your current DNS settings, but we will keep it because we are just, we will just use IP address for propagation. Just click continue, then click finish setup. Then under control panel, click manage site. On the following page, you might see the following error, but you need to ignore it and hit see details. On the following page, you need to find your website IP address because we will use IP address to connect Namecheap with Hostinger and keep the DNS to default. Once you copy the IP address, go to advanced DNS settings. Under advanced DNS settings, hit uh, add new record. Then in the drop down menu, choose a record. In host, choose add. And in under value, you need to paste your IP address. Keep it automatic and hit the check mark to save the settings. Our DNS settings are now correct, but you might still see the following error. So it can take up to 48 hours before propagation. Let's open our website to check. It's not working and it can take up to 48 hours before properly propagation. So in meanwhile, you can use the incognito mode to verify the DNS propagation or use the following website dnschecker.org. Then you need to paste the website and choose A, then search. Make sure that all of the green checks are there. If some of the mm, uncheck mark are there, it means it will not work. So after waiting few hours, our website started working. Thanks for watching the video.